Enough. If this is how you'll persist, I'll do whatever it takes to keep you from shifting the ties of Inazuma. You shall remain here with me for Aeon. I will not waste my energy on mere talk. Leave me to my meditation. Do you wish to cross blaze again? Silence. <sighs> you are persistent. Fine. State your query. And make it quick. Why take away visions? <laughs> visions were never meant to be. Humans are capable on their own. Their will divine. Their determination sometimes surpasses the expectations of a god. For when humans decide it so, they will know no bounds. Yes, I'm fully aware of the capability of humans. It will be foolish not to. As for visions, they enhance that. Enhance their will, their ambition. And yet, visions can also limit them, even cripple them. You don't know the full story of visions, nor do you need to. Humans should never have them. It upsets the balance. Visions are gifts from the gods. <laughs> Believe what you will. As for myself, it is not by my will that visions are granted nor denied. No, not once have I ever bestowed a vision to a human. The key is people's desires. And as always, there's two sides to a coin. Give and take action and reaction. Therefore, I will not let the vision's power entice corruption. Thou will not carry on at Inazuma. No, corruption is not happening. I've seen that 500 years ago, when Inazuma was on the verge of ruin. And then I made the decision that would keep Inazuma safe for years to come. The Vision Hunt Decree is not corruption. It is necessary. Steps towards carving the path to Inazuma's eternal preservation. Let me ask you. You are visionless, yet wield the elements. You are something I consider inconsistent, an oddity. Are you welcomed or shunned by Tevat? How do you view Inazuma, one who travels among the lands? And what do you think of eternal peace? I see. I view it as, as long as my people are safe, then naturally happiness will follow. They may not agree with my ways at first, but soon they'll adapt and come to understanding of my will. You, however, counter that with, 
If one has no freedom, then peace is but an illusion. <laughs> Interesting. You find me contradicting. How so? I praise humans, but yet I limit my own people. Explain. Hmm. I stifle their creativity, their yearn for expansion of the knowledge. Mm. Creativity, discovery, they all stem from imagination. Imagination can be dangerous. Imagination opens the question, what if, which can cause a road into the unknown which can result in destruction. Why risk the knowledge you already have for mere amusement, curiosity? Unleashing something evil just because of the mere thought, what if? No, I will not take that chance. Tell me, do you know the story of the bonsai tree? Observe. As a bonsai tree grows, you're the one who is the artist. You tend to it. You trim. You cut. You bind it. You mend. You must use wire to tie the branches, to form a shape. It keeps branches into position. You carefully prune the tree and tend to it over the years to come. So as it grows, it shapes into your vision. The tree thrives, is robust and prosperous. How can you deny the strength of Inazuma? As kingdoms fell, I as his archon have shielded this nation and kept it from the eroding sands of time. Yes, I have sacrificed. But for the sake of all his people, choices had to be made. Inazuma forever. This is my dream of eternity. Inazuma will reign forever. Huh? You cut the wire. You're right. I did not make the sea, the rocks, the sky, nor this tree. The goal of nature and all life that dwells within is to grow, you say, and that the path to that end is theirs to take. The people of Inazuma. Nurture is a subtle act. <sighs> you are correct. As I said before, humans by themselves are strong, and with proper will, they can go beyond the limits and surpass expectations. But what if it's not enough? What if you still lose those you love? because you weren't strong enough.
My sister? Enough. We're done. I said we're done. Outsider. I said be quiet. I'm warning you. Bring her up again, and I will strike twice. My sister is not here! All right? She's not here. As the one who was the shadow, who stayed hidden and protected with my blade. That is all I know. To shield, to fight, to protect. That is all I know. My sister loved the people, the land, she nurtured this kingdom. And like the lightning that renders a tree to embers, their ruler was gone. All that was left was the cinders of uncertainty. Inazuma was on the verge of collapse. All of her hard work, her careful planning, her desires for this nation would have been for naught. When I saw her taking her dying breath, I realized no amount of love, kindness, and good intentions can push back the darkness that befell our nation. And I swore to never let such darkness reach our land again. You do not understand, outsider. That day, not only did I see what was done to my nation and its people, I saw what was forthcoming. Staring into the abyss, looking into the depths of oblivion, I witnessed it staring back. For everyone's sake, I decided to seal Inazuma from the rest of the world. And so I did. Listen, in the eyes of a god, we see each flickering light as one. The humans of this land are all one. Inazuma, the bonsai tree. If some threaten the state of the tree, I will cut and prune as necessary to keep the tree alive. Is this not an Archon's responsibility to see the nation thrive? What do you mean Unazuma cannot thrive as it is? Inazuma is thriving as it always has. What? What do you mean no it's not? If anything were to threaten it, of course I will strike down any foe that dares to destroy it. Why do you insist on questioning my will of eternity? Retract your words, outsider. My will is absolute. Hmm. It's not. 
My will is wrong, you say. A few branches are fighting back because they did not understand why I... They too feel my way is wrong. Not few, but... Many. <laughs> yes. A leader does consider the thought of their people. Makoto thought this way as well. But it was because of that thought that cost a life. The people, they, they were not ready. I wasn't. I did what I had to, to bring Inazuma back from devastation. You tell me what could have been done. What else as a god of a nation would you have done differently? What do you know of a home where everyone looks to you as their ray of light? In their hearts I felt all hope sink into the sea. All the light that was snuffed out that was not in my hand. I can't take that risk. Not again, I... <sighs> Trust in my people. And then what? I open my home to outsiders? I let people carry on with their visions and push forward into the unknown? How does one deal with uncertainty? This I do not know. Huh? You bring up the Geo Archon? Yes, he's lost many over the millenniums. And I've seen the wars he's had to partake in. He too took the lives of many for the sake of his land. Huh? He's stepped down. He's letting Liyue run himself. Why in the world would he do such a thing? That's... Not the Geo Archon I remember. I. Uh. <laughs> he trusts his people. <sighs> I see. And I assume since you're bringing this up. That Leah is doing just fine. Right? <laughs> Take your leave. I will take time to think about our discussion. For the time being, I will say humanity is blessed with the power of choice. And gods can't take that which is not given. That, I do agree. In that case, I shall abolish the vision hunt decree. I do not want turmoil amongst my people and wish to restore peace to my home. The visions will be returned to the rightful owners. For the time being, we shall witness the path Inazuma takes as it grows. 
but of Inazum astrays towards oblivion. You shall answer how this was for the better at the end of my blade.